Hello guys, what's going on here next year? I'm back in uh Logcraft SMB. I always forget what it's called for some reason. What the heck is that? that? I just happen to have one stair. Alright. Uh so yeah, we are currently in Vault 459. And uh, I've been doing some stuff off camera. I'm trying to get this door to work. Uh, I know how to get it to work one way, but I it's not going very well. The space I have for the redstone is not very big. So the button I had is on that block for this side, and I was did get it to work, but I don't like having to go look over there and then the door opens. So I'm going to see if someone can help me like get it to work with the button right there and then the pressure plate possibly down there. But yeah, so this is going to be the overhang, and then there's going to also be a bridge kind of like in the atrium over there that goes that way. And then we're going to have our own personal skeleton and possibly cave spider spawner afk xp farm so yeah that's gonna be sick but i went caving for a very long time off camera and let me get some stuff put away so i have enough room in my inventory and yeah my cobblestone chest is no longer filled up because i had to make a crap ton of stone oh i have to show you guys that i, I expanded the wall with scorch yeah um, but yeah, I'll show you that after um, I do this. Um, I just need to make, I need as much space in my inventory as I can get. Because it's going to fill up quick. So I guess I will sort through my inventory and come back. Alright guys, let's hope this is enough space. Uh, it might not be actually. Um, but yeah, let's take this down. And then I will show you, I was caving for so long guys. And... I was actually just silk touching a bunch of stone because I needed stone bricks but I was grabbing all the ores as I went and I found a few caves and let me show you guys what I got yeah look at all that coal I got two emeralds out of the deal 38 diamonds oh yeah and one two three four five six and almost a half stacks of iron that I need to smelt and almost a stack and a half of gold and then four stacks exactly of redstone and I also got some lapis that's not lapis 29 lapis so we're gonna take all this and I have a fortune pick here and I just upgraded my fortune pick to efficiency 5 um, so let's just I'll take this but just so we can put it in the furnaces uh, we'll do that right now so that it can get going Ooh, potatoes eight oh gosh so we don't want to smelt things that don't need to be smelted, so gold needs to be smelted. We have a bunch of handy dandy furnaces out here. Um, all the iron needs to be smelted because it's not the way. Because you can smelt like diamond ore and stuff, but I, the only reason I silk touched it was because I want to fortune it. Now. Whoops. <laughs> and then siren and then it looks like we got one more. I'm glad I have all these furnaces out here. There we go. So we're gonna have so much stuff. Oh we forgot the redstone. Need all that too. Got everything? Yep. Didn't leave anything in here. Nope. <clears throat> Alright. So this is a big open room, so I think we'll just do it in here. So we'll start with lapis. 29 lapis ore, fortune 3. I think we're going to get about 3 stacks out of this because lapis is, and redstone, they're both insane regularly. So fortune 3 is just um, pretty, pretty cool. And I don't want to, I don't want to give it away. So let's do this. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four and a half stacks of lapis. That's a lot more than I was expecting. Holy crap. We're never going to need lapis ever again. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's put this food in. We don't need it right now. If you couldn't tell, my main source of food right now is potatoes. That's just because that's what we have. Alright, let's do... Let's just do the emeralds right now to get them out of the way. Two, I think we'll get like... Five, maybe. Five, haha! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna save the diamonds for life, because I know that's what everyone wants to see, and that's what I want to see the most. So, we'll do the diamonds last. So, 
Well, let's do the redstone right now. We got exactly four stacks of redstone. I think we're gonna fill up our inventory easy with all this. Um, so if we got like six stacks from the lapis from not even half a stack, um, I think we're gonna get like I don't even know. We're gonna have so much redstone after this. It's not even gonna be funny, like at all. I'm never gonna need redstone ever again. I'll probably still get it just because um, you know XP and things. But we're never gonna need redstone ever again. Like it's just not gonna be a thing we'll have to need because we already have so much redstone. Um, now we're just gonna have so much more. Guys, there we go. Four stacks of redstone. I think it's gonna fill up our inventory and more. Um, so we'll see. Oh, it looks like our inventory is filled up. Yeah, it has. We're not even halfway done yet, so let's go throw this redstone in the redstone chest and keep going. Oh my gosh, we're never going to need redstone ever again. <laughs> Holy crap. And I'd like to point out that we started with 14 levels. We have this, I believe. So we filled up these slots of in inventory like almost all the way twice. Let's see how much we got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's make this easier on ourselves. A little bit. There we go. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-four stacks. And that's actually pretty much how much was in there. So we got 24 stacks of redstone from that. Um, all right, let's try coal. Whoop. What the? Um, that was okay. Okay. How much coal do we have right now? About three stacks. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to fill up round three, too. All right. First, we got to place it all on the worst part. Yeah, we've gained about 12 levels since we started fortuning all these things. It's quite a lot. So we'll keep going on. Continuing. Uh, we got this coal and then the redstone and then all the iron and stuff. That's not gonna, that can't be fortuned, obviously. So that's we just get what we get from that. But we have so much iron and gold. We didn't get a ton, but like you don't need a ton of gold. So um, yeah. We're gonna, we probably have enough iron for at least one beacon, at least, like a full beacon, and we just need the, you know, uh, with a, a nether star, that's what's called. Alright, well, that fell. Okay, fortune pick is doing pretty well, so let's go, actually, wait, 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 wait. okay, there we go. We're actually not going to get nearly as much coal as we got redstone because we haven't filled up our inventory yet. 
Oh wait, but actually, never mind. It might actually be pretty close. The same amount because when we had the redstone, we didn't have as many inventory spaces because of all the coal. That was in inventory and the coal ore. So it actually might be pretty close. If our inventory is full, because the inventory is three by nine. Um, but I do have a, little, a few other things in there. So it's actually going to be pretty close, I think, to the amount we got of redstone. And I hope it is, because I like coal, and I always know. <laughs> so here we go, the last few bits. Alright, moment of truth. Ooh, alright, let's see. Let's get the emeralds out of there. Just want to make it something that's easy to multiply. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. About 18 stacks, so not much shy from about six stacks less than we got of redstone. That's still a lot of freaking coal. Cool. Yep, and now what we've all been waiting for: 38 diamonds. Uh, so I'm actually going to do a mathematical calculation. So statistically speaking, I think we should get about 114 diamonds which is just shy of two stacks which that's actually what I was gonna guess anyway <laughs> without the calculator I just did 38 times 3 is 14 3 you know you'll get about 3 from every one you'll get less on some but more on some so it'll balance out a little bit so let's put that back and you put your com guesses in the comments below I'm guessing 114 guys so if my guess is correct we will have uh, six shy of two stacks so we have one full stack and one stack that has 58 oh I wasn't even close well my math is wrong that's still a lot of freaking diamonds though so I'm happy I'm happy with that so let's actually go ahead and turn all these things into their block form these block forms are nice and we'll also stall for time while everything finishes smelting, which so probably should be done pretty soon. So we got 11 blocks, plus whatever all that is. Cool. So much coal. How many blocks? Oh, we're gonna have like two stacks of blocks, of coal blocks. That's so much coal. Holy crap, that's amazing. This one is just amazing. It frees up so much inventory space. I really hope I have a snap on my own or something, especially a creeper. That would suck. Alright, so the coal goes down here. We've got a little over two stacks of coal blocks. That's a lot of freaking coal, guys. Six emeralds. <laughs> I already had one. All right. So the iron will hold off on redstone. Next up, we already have a about the same amount of coal blocks as we have, or about the same amount of redstone blocks as we just made coal blocks. So, oh my gosh. Wait, did we even fit everything? We had exactly enough inventory space for all the redstone we just got. Holy crap. Okay. We're never going to need to go get redstone ever again. Ever again. So much freaking redstone. Man. And I think it's going to go evenly into blocks, so we won't have any redstone dust left over. I think. Maybe not. No, I think it has to. No, it doesn't have to. Ah, uh, no, it's not like actually. We have some redstone dust left over. That's okay. Stop. We're only gonna have a few bits of dust sticks, yeah. Alright, so we are adding almost three stacks of redstone blocks to our collection. Yeah, we're never gonna use all that redstone. Look at all that. That's so much. And now the lapis. Not nearly as impressive, but we don't need we don't need nearly as much of it. Basically just for enchanting, so this is good. Uh, we're one stack shy of having exactly enough. So we won't have any laps left. That's okay. Oh wait! Oh no, we did. Cool. 
But we have almost a stack of lapis blocks. That's always fun. <laughs> Alright, now let's see. Ooh, I think all of our stuff is going to be on. Yep. Sweet. All the redstone and iron. Or not redstone and iron. Gold and iron. <laughs> all of it. Sweet. And then let's turn all these into blocks. Let's see how much we get out of these. Got ten gold blocks. And how many iron blocks do we get? Ooh. We might have enough. Actually no, I, I don't think we have enough for no, we definitely don't have enough for a full beacon. We need so a full beacon takes an absurd amount of Stop. that one block that you make it out of. Yeah, I think you need about a little more than two stacks of iron blocks or gold blocks or whatever you're making it of. So yeah. Well, I think that um, caving expedition was very um, fruitful. Uh, so now I'm going to go up and show you uh, the expanded uh, Trump wall <clears throat> V2. Actually, no. Ah, oh, no, okay. So the redstone with we're on the new snapshot, 16W43. Yep. So it kind of fixed the redstone, but my double piston extender broke, or something broke down there. So um, the middle and bottom middle don't uh, um, retract or extend. So those ones don't work, but everything else works. Um. So yeah, I'll show you where the expansion happened. Let me get on top of the ziggurat to get a good point of view. But um, let me just say the ziggurat is now no longer the tallest thing inside the walls. Um, that mountain is. So before, the wall came and made a weird angle right there and then went over there, over this little hill and then around that way and connected it up over there with the wall. Now it goes all the way around this mountain and there's an ocean over there, so it stops there, goes across the ocean, or bay, whatever, and then comes around, and then connects over there. Um, so, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but me and Scorch were planning on having a harbor here with a ship and stuff, but this doesn't actually lead to the ocean or anything. But uh, this other one does. It does lead to the ocean, so we're going to actually make the harbor over there and make a little fishing area over here. Um, yeah, I might as well show you guys. Oh gosh, ow. What the? What is that? Oh, and it is Halloween, so that might be something wearing a pumpkin on his head. Yep, it is. That's a zombie wearing a pumpkin. <laughs> Easter eggs, because it's Halloween. <laughs> yep. And they're both villagers. That's neat. I <laughs> wasn't actually expecting that. Alright, so I'll just follow the wall. I actually want to go on top of this mountain. Because on top of this mountain, we're going to put a tower. And on top of the tower, we're going to put an elytra launcher. And I actually want to tell you about this. Um, this is not my original elytra, actually. <clears throat> and my sword is not the good one. And my bow is not the good one. Because I lost those things. Um... I was caving, and I I was actually caving for all that stuff I just got, um, but I didn't make it out alive. So I should actually have about double the stuff I just got. Um, besides, like the di I should have double the coal and redstone and stuff that I just got, pretty much. But I died via skeleton, and I couldn't, for the life of me, find the cave. And I was wearing my elytra. The armor I was wearing it wasn't very good though, I don't think, so I didn't really care about that too much. But yeah, I was wearing the Elytra, so me and Scorch actually went on an adventure into the End City. I didn't record it because I just did that for you guys, so was, I didn't want to get too uh, repetitive. But I got an, another mending book and I'm breaking three book off camera. Um, so yeah, that's actually my second pair of Elytra I'm wearing right now. And now Scorch has Elytra also. So like over here probably we're going to build a tower. 
and on top of the tower we're going to have an elytra launcher so you can get even higher but yeah the wall comes around here it doesn't have an awkward bend anymore and then it goes off over here and stops at the ocean right there uh, so that's pretty cool <clears throat> And then I don't think I don't think it's actually completely finished on this side. I don't actually remember, so I guess we'll find out. But yeah, then it comes over here. Sorry, my chunks are still um, weird. I think the snapshot messed with something because it didn't use to do this. So I'm pretty sure that wall is finished. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so maybe it is finished. But yeah, then it just goes around here. Oh yeah, the only thing I have to put on is the, I don't know what they're called, the the wall things, the castle wall things, you, get, you guys know what I'm talking about. I always forget what they're called, um, but yeah, I need to put those on, and I need to put like the floor, I don't think the floor was in, and the stairs and stuff. But yeah, it comes around here, we're still inside the wall actually, just for your guys' reference, outside the walls on that side. So we're going to have to add some more doors, um, and places you can get on top of the wall. But other than that, yeah, so we just have to add the floor in. And then, like, the stairs and the ramparts, I think is what they're called. I almost died. I would have been so sad because I have so many levels. But yeah, the ramparts, I think that's what they're called. And then, yeah, it meets up over here. So now, the AFK farm is, we just moved it back into the mountain right there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so as you can see, I have TNT in my inventory, and we are going to be saying goodbye to a building that has served us well up until this point. Um, it's the first thing Scorch and I lived in when we found this little place here. Um, yeah, we're going to be um, saying goodbye to this little tree house. <laughs> we called it a tree house because there's a tree sticking out of it. Uh, this is where all of our chests and crap were, but we no longer need it, so I'm going to be um, exploding it. And I really hope this doesn't blow up. If it does, though, I guess it doesn't even matter. There's not really. I'm going to go through and make sure there's not like some good books like that in here, just in case this does, um, you know, explode on us. All right, so there's just like level one power books here, and the bookshelves they can be replaced. This won't blow up. I don't think that'll blow up. That won't blow up. So, if something does go wrong, it can't really go too too wrong. Um. So yeah, we're gonna fill this. I got ten TNT. We're gonna fill it all the way. Well, at least with as much as I can, with the resources I have. Well, that's it. <laughs> all right. So, I really wish I had a camera account right now. I'd so like go up there. You know, I can. I don't know I can't actually because I don't have any blocks I'll just do it like this so I'm gonna light it real quick I don't think I closed the door but goodbye and the chest did blow up <laughs> that made a lot bigger of an explosion than I thought it would have all the books are gone <laughs> except for one power one book was left behind it blew the anvil over there whoa that's pretty sweet well now we got a giant hole and an almost dead dog and a little few bookshelves left over well <laughs> I got the Frostwalker 2 book out that's really the only one that was good in there and the lone power one book that survived. Alright. Well I gotta I gotta make this look all natural. But yeah, that just happened.